notes to share. Um, this germanium AC to DC converter um, that I have been experimenting with, um, I, I, I realized that the information I gave about these capacitors was incorrect. Uh, I was using 0.2 microfarad capacitors here. Um, and it kind of makes a difference in terms of high frequency. If, if uh, um, uh, You can compute reactants through uh, the capacitor. It's um, 1 over 2 pi Fc. So if F is uh, pretty high um, and C is pretty low, um, you can get a big number there. So um, uh, you might experiment with different values of capacitors here. These are ceramic capacitors. Uh, the diode I'm using is an NTE110A 30 volt germanium. It's not necessarily ideal, it's just something I could buy. The, uh, micro the um, capacitors on the DC side here are 100 microfarad, 50 volt. I realize that this circuit can probably handle up upwards to 100 volts before you're at risk of these things exploding. But uh, when you get around the 50 volt mark, you might start paying attention to putting a load here to suck away that power. You don't, you don't want these to build up to a voltage beyond. Uh, um, so these are, these are electric, but beyond their capacity. These are electrolytic. Um, and I, I finally uh, took the time to breadboard this thing. It's, it's in a little uh, uh, cream cheese thing here. And um, uh, the advantage to breadboarding it is uh, there's less resistance. When you use clip leads to hook everything up and prototype boards, there's a lot of uh, resistance and things. Um, so breadboarding is a little bit, a little bit cleaner. Okay, uh, the other thing I want to talk about is this, uh, this uh, inverse square law experiment that I've done. Um, this is the control. It's a 12 by 12 plate, and you just hook up a clip lead to that plate, AC DC converter, have a certain kind of load, and measure the voltage, which knowing the load you can compute power. And uh, then move the plasma ball at various distances and see how well you do in terms of this power. Um, so here's what the uh, 12 by 12 plate looks like. It's really easy to make. It's just a 12 by 12 piece of aluminum foil household aluminum and you just put a clip lead on it okay and now um, the basher sta uh, same experiment um, this guy has uh, more surface areas it's a lot bigger in terms of the foil uh, he's it's a tank circuit um, and the distance that I would measure is from the base over to, to the outer uh, surface of the, of the glass of the plasma ball. Um, now there's an angle here, uh, there's a certain angle here, so it's not uh, perpendicular to the plasma ball. Um, so the pickup might not be as good, plus um, the tank circuit is tuned for a different frequency than the plasma ball. So, the four, so um, this actually does better at close proximity than, than I would expect this to, and I'll, I'll show you the data on that. Um, so that's that's the experiment I performed, and now I wanted to go over just some of this. Uh, whoops! Get this piece of paper here. Disorganized here. So um, inverse square law experiment. Uh, power is related or proportional to um, one over distance squared, and distance in this case is the plasma ball uh, to the to the antenna. Um, so let P be power in watts, let D be the distance in inches. There's going to be a relationship here where there's some constant, uh, but you know basically there'll be a lin linear relationship. And um, we don't care what K is per se, we just want to establish that this is a linear relationship. Um, so solving for that, D squared equals K over P, D equals square root of K over P, or you know getting rid of K uh, in terms of a graph D is proportional to square root of 1 over P. So I've uh, done the experiment, taken a bunch of measurements, and this is what I came up with. Um, now on the x-axis we have distance from 0, it's uh, 0, 5, all the way up to 40 inches. Beyond 40 inches the power tapered off so much that it's not even worth 
doing. And um, you can see that this part of the curve is definitely linear. Um, now, um, since we're inverting uh, power, you want this slope to be as low as possible. You want, you, you want to get as close to zero here as possible. Zero would be an infinite power, and uh, that would be the ideal. And you would want a slope uh, that is um, this k, this magic number k or whatever, um, and you would want you want you would want it to be linear. Now, what happens? The blue line is the plate, and the red line is the basher curve. What happens with the plate is as soon as you get kind of close to the 12 inch point in terms of distance, um, the pickup sort of flattens out, or, or um, uh, you know, the plate the plate is able to oscillate really good and hold hold its power um, even as you kind of move away beyond that 12 distance. But there's sort of a cutoff at 20 inches and then suddenly the pickup on power is much worse and the line trends up this way. So inverse square line would square law would predict a straight line but it's not really true because you've got a lot of interesting geometry here. You've got the dimensions of the plate as, as, as a 12 by 12 surface uh, and you know when you cross some threshold in terms of that plate size, you, you, you don't do as well. Now on the uh, basher coil, um, this is a steeper slope, which means I'm not picking up as good as the plate did. Um, and the place where this sort of flattens out is bigger because the side of the basher coil is like 21, 22, 21 inches or 22 inches. And then uh, the slope here is actually pretty decent. Uh, so the basher coil uh, tetrahedron thing uh, starts to do better when the distances are bigger because um, it has you know a lot more surface area exposed to the to the room uh, in every direction. So as the radiation scatters all around, it can hit it from all sides, or that's what I'm imagining is happening here. So, um, so this is a, uh, I, I would have guessed that these lines would have been uh, parallel with each other, but they cross each other, and that, that kind of surprised me. So, uh, granted I don't have very many data points here, it would be better to do this experiment with a lot finer granularity. Um, but this is just my uh, first look at this, and I'm showing it. Bye.